Hey there, this is Steve. Welcome back to Cryptic Woodworks. I want to show you something today that I've recently started doing because I had a little bit of a challenge and I need to figure out how to solve that challenge. So what I have is just a little bit of dowel here. And what I need to do is bore a hole right through the center. Now I tried the old technique where you kind of clamp it on the drill press and you try to drill down and then sometimes your drill doesn't reach far enough so you have to turn it over and drill down again and then sometimes they don't meet up in the center because it's not always easy to hit the center point of a dowel this size. You know, essentially what I need to do is I need to take a smaller dowel and have a hole in there that I can run this through. Now there are much easier ways to do this and if you happen to have a lathe or are thinking about getting a lathe what you might not know is that they are also excellent horizontal drilling machines. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So give me just a minute and we'll get set up on the lathe. Okay, we're over at the lathe. And I just have a small 12 inch lathe. It's good enough for most of my purposes, a little jet here. Uh, you might notice some things that look a little bit different. Uh, there are two things you will need to do horizontal drilling. So the first is going to be some type of three or four jaw chuck. Uh, I happen to have the uh, Nova G20 chuck on here. Uh, it's a pretty affordable and, and can do a lot of the smaller jobs that you would ever want. And what this lets you do is to take our little piece of dowel, which we can drop into the chuck here, and then these will open and tighten those jaws. So I can tighten those jaws down the chuck, give it another little tighten from this side to make sure it's well seated. And now that jaw, that piece is in there and being held solid. Now the other piece that you'll see over here is what's called a drill center. So you're probably used to a lathe with a live center. It's a little piece that comes out and it can um, go into the wood, catch it, and turn. Mine's here, looks like this. It's got a little point on here. And then this piece can spin. So that's what allows your piece to spin when you're turning it. We're not going to use that. Instead, we're going to use this drill chuck because you can pop these out and put different pieces in the back. So what happens when I put the drill chuck in, and on this one I happen to have a, a standard like Wood River a drill chuck for a half inch uh, collet. And I did like the keyed locking. I just find it gives me a much better attachment because I know that this bit isn't going to move out of here. So now what will happen is that this doesn't turn. So my bit isn't going to turn. So what's going to happen is that the workpiece will turn and then we'll feed the bit into it via the hand wheel that's over here on the other end. So what I do then is I bring my bit just up to the workpiece. I try to get it just as close as I can without touching just so that I know uh, um, I have as much room to be able to extend this out as possible. And let me first of all dial this all the way back. I just really had that extended a little bit and you can see how I get some room as I'm pulling this back and there that's the end so now I can go ahead and bring that right back up just about to my workpiece and on the back here I can lock it so now the tailstock won't move but I can still advance the bit into the wood so now all I have to do is turn my lathe on and I keep it down at a relatively low speed um, nothing super high and then just very gently feed my bit in. And I just move steady, not terribly fast, not terribly slow. Um, this is just a poplar dowel, so this bit's going to go through it pretty quickly. Yeah, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go forward until I feel myself about reaching the end of the, the feed length that I have, uh, which for me is right around three inches or so. I'll just keep advancing this. And you can see I do get a nice stream of dust coming out, so I am ejecting that nicely. Uh, this will heat up, so when you are drilling in there and creating a lot of friction. Yeah, okay, it looks pretty good for now. So what I'm gonna do is actually turn the lathe off. Leave my bit there. Because normally what you would think about doing is you would flip the part over and you would drill in from the other side. But I find some dowels aren't always perfectly straight. Uh, and I don't get a, uh, a perfect drill through so I get like a little um, catch in the center of it. So what I started doing was just 
loosening up my drill press. Uh, let me come over here. So I'm move this out of my camera. I'll loosen, I'll take my unfeed it so that I get it out of the work. There we go. While I have the time, I'll get that dust off of there. It doesn't hurt. And then I can take this and feed it right back in there. Probably just about till I feel it touch the work in there. And then close it again. And then I'll do the same. I'll turn this back on. And start feeding again. I think my dowel piece here is short enough that I'd probably just do this in two passes. This is also a great way if you have a dowel that's a little longer than your bit, you can use this same thing. And you probably just heard that it got kind of quiet in there. That means I'm all the way through. So what I can do now, turn my lathe back off, loosen my tailstock. Pull this right on out, and I can come over, loosen up the chuck, take this out, knock out anything in there, and hopefully now you can see uh, the camera. We got a nice hole drilled all the way through, and if I grab my other length of dowel, you should be able to see that it uh, fits nicely in there. So what I'm actually doing this is a 3 8 dowel, so I'm using a bit that's about a 64th bigger than 3 8 so it uh, allows that to, to slide easily on there. And here I can see that yeah, I am a little bit thinner on this side than I'm on this side, so my dowel might have been a slight bit off. So again, if I would drill from each side, I would have a little bit of a step in there, which could cause the dowel to catch. Uh, but this way it lets me get that done. And uh, it's a case where if you wanted them all dead even, you might just have to go through a couple of dowels and try them out until you got them to work right. So I hope that's a nice little tip and helps you out if you ever need to do something like this. Stay dusty.